Welcome back, friends. Hot off the presses this week, System.io just dropped something called Sub Accounts, and it is a total game changer if you're either an agency owner like I am, or you run multiple businesses or have multiple projects like I do. So I'm Rachelle Berry from Get the Tech Out of Here, and in the next few minutes, I'm going to walk you through this brand new feature, why it matters, how to set it up, the small little catches that you may want to keep in mind as you're starting to use sub accounts and what your next steps are. So watch all the way through, then go back to the beginning so you can pause and implement as you go. So what are sub accounts? I want you to imagine unlimited system IO accounts all wrapped up under what you're currently paying for your system IO account. That means if you're on the freemium account, you can have unlimited freemium accounts that are linked to your account. If you're on the $27 a month plan, you have unlimited $27 per month system IO accounts under one system IO payment, which is pretty wild. This is a brand new release from the system IO team. And now you can again, Spin up unlimited number of fully featured accounts under your main login. And each sub account is going to have its own funnels, its own email campaigns, its own courses, its own domains, its own payment processors. Finally, this is something a lot of us were waiting for and separate contact lists. So that you're not crossing wires when you're sending out emails to different segments anymore. So again, on that freemium account, you'll have the same limits that a freemium account would have on all of your sub accounts, but on startup or webinar or unlimited plans, every sub account inherits those same generous limits at no extra cost. So myself, as someone who's on the unlimited $97 per month system plan, I can now have unlimited sub accounts with unlimited everything, which is just it's pretty wild and I'm still kind of in shock that they're letting us do this. It's pretty crazy, but it also is really just cool. So I wanted to just deploy a new sub account and have you watch and walk through this with me because it's super, super simple to do. How we do that, we log into our system.io dashboard first, and then we come over to this little user menu right here up in this corner, and you'll click where it says sub accounts right there. That's gonna bring you to this page that we're looking at over here. And then just hit this create corner in the top right hand corner, hit that button, and it's gonna ask you what you wanna name your sub account. So I'm gonna go ahead and type in my name. And if you have a separate email that you wanna have, linked to this one. So we'll do Rachelle at Rachelle.com. And this will be RacheleBerry.System.io. And we'll just hit save there. And it's going to create that sub account for us. Now, because I added a separate email, it's pending email verification. And now that I just verified that email, you can see that this is now a fully resourced new sub account. And all we have to do to get into that sub account is either go back to our user menu and use this drop down menu right here where you can see the different sub accounts that I have. Or you can also come to the sub accounts page and just use this three dot menu to log into your sub account. There's no separate password. It's just straight from the dashboard there. Now you can see that there is already one contact added and that is my contact right there. Okay. Um, but this is now a fully featured account. And so you see there's no extra contacts in here. There's no blogs yet. There's no email newsletters yet. Even though this is all rolling up to my main account, it doesn't have anything carried over with it, which means that now I can set up a separate payment gateway for this sub account. I can set up separate custom domains for this sub account and separate email domains for this sub account. And then if I was creating this for a client, I would basically just come in here and add them as a workspace member with admin permissions. And that's it. So I can have any agency clients, I can create their account for them. And instead of having to have them create an account and then give me their login information so that I can add payment gateways and custom domains and things like that, I do that on my end and then just give them access to everything as a workspace member. So I get to take care of everything. They don't have to worry about anything and they don't have to pay for that account except for whatever I would charge them to maintain that account because it all rolls up to my System.io payment plan, which is pretty cool. So if I wanted to switch back to my main account, all I have to do is just go ahead and click here and that'll switch me back. 
And we're back to our main account where you can see those sub accounts again. That's it. That's how easy this actually is. Now, again, this is one plan for however many ventures and projects that you're working on. And this just launched this week, which is really cool. So now because each sub account hooks up to its own Stripe, its own PayPal, there's no cross charge confusion. There's no mixing up your email lists. There's separate lists for each project that you're working on or for each client that you have. You can have unique domains and as many domains as come with your system plan per sub account. And again, budget wise, this is just incredible that I have one $97 per month plan and I can have unlimited, unlimited accounts under that $97 per month plan. That's massive savings for those of us who run multiple businesses or have multiple projects. And it's massive savings for our clients if we're agency owners, which is really, really cool. But while sub accounts are really awesome, there are a few limitations and gotchas that you really should be aware of if you're starting to use these sub accounts. The first is that ultimately you are the owner of any sub account that you create. You remain the owner of every sub account. You cannot at this point in time, hand off full ownership or transfer full ownership to anyone else. That means if you're an agency owner and you create a client account as a sub account of yours, you are the one that will have full ownership of that account going forward. And there is no way to transfer that ownership at a later point in time, unless system changes something later on. Okay. Additionally, admin permissions, when you grant admin permissions as a workspace member, if we were to go back to, for example, this sub account here to my new Rachel Berry sub account. And if I was to go into settings and come down here and invite someone as a new assistant and then upgrade their role to an admin on this account, admin workspace members still do not have full owner permissions on these accounts either. They're not gonna be able to see payment gateways. They're not gonna be able to see custom domains. They're not gonna be able to see affiliate programs. Some of this stuff is gonna be hidden even from the admins that get added to this account. So you can add your client in here, but they're still not gonna have full access to everything. So that's important to keep in mind when you're adding accounts for other people. This is not a white label solution at this point in time. This is not software as a service that you can go around and resell the way that it is because again, you can't transfer that ownership. And so they're stuck with you without any recourse to like separate out if they choose not to work with you in the future. And I don't know, personally, I wouldn't want to run my business that way unless I'm super transparent with people up front that like you are paying me to maintain this for the rest of forever. <laughs> um, so it's not a true white label or true software as a service solution. There are other platforms out there that you can resell accounts and those are fully featured independent accounts. That is not this yet. I'm hoping that that's what's coming next from System. I would love a true white label software as a service solution. Again, that's not what this is yet. I can't resell these accounts as independent accounts yet. This is only gonna be for my agency clients who are gonna be paying me to maintain their website from now on. I am also hoping that there are gonna be more granular permissions so that those admins that I add to these accounts are able to take over ownership or are able to see their custom domains and their payment gateways without me having to go in and do everything for them. But all in all, this is a really exciting feature for us agency owners and especially for those of us who own multiple businesses because we wanna own these accounts anyways so we don't have that ownership issue, right? And now we're only paying for one Systemio plan to get the same features across all of our different accounts and that's just really, really awesome. So really exciting stuff from Systemio. We'll see if this continues to evolve as they work on the feature and get feedback from their users. But if you haven't tested it yet, I would definitely go ahead and rewatch this video and pause and test it out on your own account so that you can give it a try. If you don't have a System.io plan yet, you can go ahead and click the link below to start your own free System.io account. If you're wondering if System is the right fit for you and you're still not sure, I have a free workshop that you can watch where I talk about how to set up all of the tech that your online business needs through System.io in 30 days or less. The link to that workshop is below this video as well. And if you would love someone to just hand you every possible website, funnel, email and course platform that you need for your online business where you can just click a link and have it appear magically in your own system account. I've got a design build scale tech implementation program filled with one click plug and play templates, step-by-step -step tutorials and AI tools that are going to help you complete your funnel and get it out the door faster. And you can find information on that 
below this video as well. That's it, everyone. If you found this helpful, make sure to go ahead and hit like, subscribe to this channel, and ring the little bell so you never miss the latest Systemio features. Comment below. Let me know what you're going to be using these Systemio sub accounts for, and I will see you again soon.